After a short prologue, a short introduction, the play opens with a brawl between two families, the Montagues and the Capulets. These families have been locked in bitter rivalry for generations, but no one can seem to remember how it all started. Only one Montague does not seem interested in the fight, Romeo. He is depressed because he has fallen in love with a girl called Rosaline. Later that day, a bunch of Montagues sneak into a party held by the Capulets. While they are there, Romeo locks eyes with Juliet, and the two fall in love immediately. Only after this do they realise they are from opposing families. Later that night, Romeo sneaks into Juliet's orchard. They confess their love for each other and plan to get married secretly. And so, with the help of Juliet's nurse and a local monk called Friar Lawrence, the next day the couple get married, less than 24 hours after they met. That afternoon, another fight breaks out. Tybalt, a Capulet, comes to attack Romeo. Romeo's friend Mercutio tragically dies defending Romeo, so Romeo furiously kills Tybalt in revenge. When the prince finds out, he decides to exile Romeo. When Juliet finds out, understandably, she is utterly shocked and distraught. This is not a great first day of marriage. Panicked, Romeo runs to Friar Lawrence for advice, who calms him down. Don't worry, he says. We'll figure out a plan. So Romeo goes to enjoy his wedding night with Juliet. But Romeo and Juliet's happiness is cut short because Romeo, exiled, has to leave early the next morning. And there's another complication. Just as Romeo leaves, Juliet's parents come in and order her to marry a suitor named Paris. In despair, Juliet decides to go ask the friar for help. She's having a pretty rough time. Friar Lawrence comes up with a plan. He tells Juliet to pretend to say yes to Paris, but gives her a special potion. Taking it will make her appear dead, so that her family will take her to the Capulet burial vault. Meanwhile, the friar will send a message to Romeo, who will meet her there. Desperate, Juliet agrees. Juliet takes the potion and falls unconscious. When she is found, everyone is grief-stricken and they go to bury her in the family vault. But Romeo doesn't get the friar's message. Instead, he hears that Juliet has actually died. He rushes back to Verona. Romeo sees Juliet lying in the tomb, completely unaware that she isn't dead. He drinks poison and dies by Juliet's tomb. Too late, Juliet finally wakes to see Romeo, dead. Full of grief, she stabs herself. When Lord Capulet and Lord Montague burst in and find Romeo and Juliet dead, they realise that it was their family's feud that caused this whole tragedy. They finally decide to make peace, the only hint of hope in this sad ending. We hope you enjoyed this Schooling Online production. For more easy lessons on Romeo and Juliet, check out our analysis of all the themes within the play.